What is up you guys, this is Space Kryptonite here to bring you the history of a devastating meta breaking bot. This bot is known throughout the Robocraft universe and has undergone changes, but remains vicious and hard to battle. Some say annoying, others fear its evolution throughout future patches. Ladies and gents, I present you the evolution of Cluely's nerf bomb. Why evolution? You might know that the Cluely ball exists, but there was a process. Five versions with tweaks and mysteries in each of them. Class is now in session, so let's begin with the origin. Around June 2015, Cluely created the Nerf Bomb version 1. This was born in an era of thruster sticks and gunbrellas. These were dangerous times, but the Nerf Bomb was different. It was fast, tricky, and unpredictable. Besides all the thruster stick builds that Cluely personally made, this new build was complex. A ball that contained triforcing, shields, and movements on the inside. But my friends, Cluely was only getting started, and players were craving for it. Around August 2015, Cluely's Nerf Ball version 2 was released. This bot had even more triforcing with a touch of carbon. The Nerf Bomb also had T101 shields on each of the plasmas for more protections against rail gunners. These electro plates can literally take two rail shots. So yeah, this was strong and at this point almost everyone knew about it. Around September 2015, Cluely's Nerf Bomb version 3 was born. The mystery behind this version is that it was never posted on YouTube. It was posted on Twitter and Reddit for a limited time in the CRF. Nerf Bomb version 3 seems to have changed a lot compared to version 2. It contained more noticeable thrusters along with the removal of T101 shields. Instead, the plasmas were mounted on tetras. Legends of the Pit update has done quite a number since shields and plasma damage was changed across the board, but Cluely has yet to have given up. Around October 2015, Cluely's Nerf Bomb version 4 was released. The ball was reverting back to its original state, which was simplicity. The major feature with this version was its use of tetras. The plasmas were mounted on tetras that curled its way back to the major structure. Another major difference is its mass. Compared to version 2, version 4 is double the mass, so rolling speed was pretty different. We can also confirm that Gotchar has helped with some suggestions. And now for the last version, around December 2015, the Dark Bomb was born. This was version 5 of the Nerf Bomb series and looks amazing with the new paint job. The interior is updated with the use of ramp cubes and more. Aero rod shorts were used to keep the bot more intact. The shields on the plasmas are T105 and still feels fun to fly around. The damage resistance is still strong, especially against SMGs. Even with the full spectrum update removing TX1 armor, Cluely's Dark Bomb remains to be a strong meta breaking bot, and the evolution is only the beginning for what lies ahead.